everybody. In today's video, I am going to share with you three ways to improve your state of mind or three ways to keep and sustain a high vibration. Now, why is this important? Would you or would you not agree that when you are feeling good, when you're feeling motivated, when you're feeling empowered, when you're feeling confident, you are much more likely to be more productive, to be more effective in your everyday, to be more positive and more uh, bring more passion into your relationships. Do you agree that when you're feeling better, you're much more likely to give better into those other areas of your life? True or true? Or dubadoy, as they like to say in Taiwan. And for anyone that's watching from Taiwan, please do say hello or say hello wherever you are tuning on in from. I love to get to know the viewers and how we can serve you better. So please do interact. Now, as I say, I'm going to share three ways to help you stay in that empowered state of mind or high vibration so that you can be more effective, more confident and live a more fulfilled, happier and more enjoyable life. First of all, here is a quick intro. in the comments box below. Be aware of your focus. What we think about creates how we feel. And this starts to have a bit of a cycle as well. So if we immerse ourselves in that feeling, that emotion, we continue to think in a certain way. And of course, what you are focusing on will determine what you are thinking about and what you are sending to your emotional part of your brain, to your feelings, which of course then determine your actions and therefore your results. So you need to be aware of what you are focusing on. If you are focusing on something perhaps negative or something from the past, or you're focusing on a challenge in a way that doesn't serve you, i.e. I can't do this, I don't know how to do this, this is impossible. Those are all uh, ways and areas of your focus which are not going to serve you. And a really powerful example of this is like a bill. Has anyone ever been in debt or owed money? I, I think that's all of us at some point, right? And that bill comes through the letterbox and you're just thinking, I can't pay this, I cannot pay this. But that doesn't help you. Now, I'm not saying that your thinking in that moment is gonna magically bring a million pounds into your life or a thousand pounds through the letterbox or even an extra tenner in that moment. However, by saying, you know, how can I pay this back? How can I create more income to be able to pay this bill? Where can I get money from? I'm so grateful that I know it's possible to be able to bring in more money to pay this bill. So how we think about something and where we put our focus directly affects the way that we are feeling and how productive and effective we can be in that moment. So always be aware to choose where you are putting your focus. Tip number two is to think about your physiology. What are you doing with your body? What we do with our body directly affects the way that we feel. This has been proven, this has been demonstrated. In fact, for anybody watching this video, just try this right now. I think Bobby's getting involved as well. Just try this right now at home. Stand up, stand up. Or if you are sitting down, just try it with the upper half of your body. Make the shape of somebody who is stereotypically celebrating, happy, excited, proud, confident. Do it at home, I dare you, come on. We're doing it together. <laughs> Generally speaking, your head will go up, your shoulders will go up, maybe your arms will go out. What do people who are confident, how do they breathe? How do they speak? This creates how you feel. On the other hand, Try making the shape of someone who is stereotypically depressed. What do they do? Generally speaking, the head comes down, shoulders come in, breathing is different. The way they speak is different. Now, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. 
If you played along then and you got involved, you will have noticed that what you did with your body affected the way that you feel. And I speak about this so often within our groups because it's such a powerful, instant way to change how you are feeling. Even just smiling, smiling. Try and think about something negative when you're smiling. Try. And I think Bob burrowing behind us might also be adding to the entertainment here. But just try and think about something negative when you are smiling. It's not possible, you can't do it. If you do, you start to change your face shape again. Our physiology affects the way that you feel. And with those examples before, you might think, well, I'm copying you through a screen. So, you know, maybe that's just modeling behavior or I'm feeling better because I'm watching you, does that physiology actually determine how you feel? And at one event, we actually experienced this with a lady who had been blind from birth. So she'd never been able to, to see, and yet she participated in the exercise. And with her body, she did the exact same shapes that I just did with you, and if you were playing along at home that you just did, when she was asked those two questions, what does this mean? Your physiology directly affects the way that you feel. So if you want to improve your state of mind, number one, change that focus. Notice what you are thinking about. What you think about will create how you feel. Secondly, your physiology. What are you doing with your body? As soon as you change your body shape, even if it's just for a smile, you will start to feel different. And tip number three is to have an amazing tribe around you. Have an amazing tribe around you. And of course, if you would like to join our Empowering Warriors tribe, the link is in the description box. Have a tribe of amazing, inspiring, supportive, incredibly motivational friends, tribe, network around you. Make sure that you have people that will lift you up, make you feel good, inspire you. So that when there are those days where it's a bit difficult and it's a bit tough, which we all have, every single person in this human being, human existence, will experience those tougher times and those emotions that allow us to doubt our ability and wonder if we're able to achieve. And in those moments, yes, physiology, yes focus, yes unshakable mindset, but also one of the most powerful ways to help you believe in yourself whilst you're going through those moments is to have people that look at you in the eye and say, you are amazing, you've got this one step at a time, it's all good, go at your own pace, we believe in you. Hey, I spoke to this person that might be able to help you, you guys would get on well. Oh, you guys are both interested in meditation or whatever it might be, you should pair up and work together. There's always a beautiful way that when we come together, when we rise as a tribe, you are able to not only give support, help other people, and nearly everybody likes to help others, but you are able to be supported. You're allowing others to lift you up in those moments that maybe you don't feel so good. And having a tribe that does this for you, that has your back in every moment, that lifts you up, that makes you feel good, that sends in good vibes no matter what is happening, that allows you to change your state of mind and also sustain that higher vibration. So we have number one, focus, number two, physiology, and number three, an amazing, fun, beautiful tribe that you can support and give high vibe to, but when it's that moment that you need it, you can lean on and utilize those to give you a boost as well. So much love and light to you all. Of course, if you do want to join our Empowering Warriors tribe, then click on the link in the description box. And of course, if you're not already, then please do hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it for your daily notifications of education, motivation, and inspiration. And I will see you on the next one.